Also tonight, we are learning that the FBI raided more than 25 places earlier today, trying to take down some dog fighting and drug trafficking rings. Tonight, the FBI needs your help finding the man who's wanted in connection to this federal investigation. They're looking for Gregory Henderson Jr. Here's a picture of him now. They're also offering a reward of up to $5,000 for any information that leads to the arrest of Gregory Henderson. Our Rich Nye has been very busy following this investigation all day today. And Rich joins us live tonight here at 5 outside the FBI headquarters to show us what agents discovered during today's raids. Rich. Scott and Anne Marie, the FBI assembled about 20 SWAT teams made up of federal and local law enforcement officers to conduct those raids early this morning. Now we're still waiting on the U.S. District Attorney to tell us how many people were arrested, what charges they face, and how many dogs were seized. The FBI led the early morning raids at more than 25 locations. At multiple houses, we saw dog training equipment confiscated and loaded onto a U-Haul trailer. Metro Police and other federal agencies joined the FBI to execute federal warrants related to an investigation of potential drug trafficking and dog fighting. The FBI says agents also seized dogs, drugs, guns and cash and made multiple arrests. We made stops at six known locations that were raided across the east side of Indianapolis. A SWAT team appeared to have busted down the front door at this house on Emerson Court South Drive. We saw multiple dogs at that house as agents gathered evidence. An officer appeared to be gathering evidence on a gun seized. On the far east side, agents emptied a garage on Roth Lane that was full of equipment used for training dogs. Multiple treadmills and kennels were seized. Some of that equipment appeared to be homemade. This yard on North Webster Avenue was full of more treadmills and other dog training apparatus to be confiscated. There even appeared to be rudimentary weight training equipment for dogs. On Kinnear Avenue, neighbors woke up before 6 a.m. to shouts of FBI, FBI, coming from this house. Agents gathered evidence while multiple dogs could be seen in the backyard. This is a shock to me that uh, because this is a quiet street and I never knew that we'd have drug dealing or, or uh, even uh, 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 dog fights. Uh, people heard that. I would never thought anything like that would ever happen. So I show you that. You never know. Sherman Buckner is just one of many neighbors surprised to see the FBI on their street Thursday morning. We did not actually see any dogs being seized today. We believe that most of those dogs had already been taken uh, before we arrived at those locations. And we're not sure how many dogs again have been seized or where those dogs are at tonight. Obviously could be a lot of animals to take care of out of this raid today. Rich Nye outside FBI headquarters on the north side. Thanks so much.